और हेलो गाइस वेलकम 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 हेलो गाइस एंड गाइस वेलकम टू माय अनदर वीडियोस एंड टुडे वी हैव अ स्पेशल थ्री यस ऑलराइट प्ले विद स्पेशल थ्री यू वांट टू प्ले यू वांट टू प्ले अ गेम कॉल्ड वर्गस वर्गस यस आई बिलीव इट्स मीन कैरावेंस इन सम लैंग्वेज आई एम नॉट श्योर व्हाट लैंग्वेज बट इट डज व्हाट इट इज ओके इट्स वर्गस ओके आई I played the tutorial and I played one free play games and I can tell you the games really amazing. Yes, it's really amazing. No other game give me this much freedom when it comes to how you call it a trading simulator game. <laughs> yes, you know you you ride out your caravan and then bring one material to another cities and then sell them and then just doing the same thing over and over just to flow up the economy yes i kind of like that kind of game you know it give you a challenge and mostly it's just for the challenge <laughs> see how far can you go and survive all right so as i said i did that tutorial and i did play once and i'm not sure how it's going to turn up for second play through but let's get to it okay and now the game still on early access so we might see some bugs or something that we not sure all right so let's see all right so here we have two game modes all right so one is the you know the meant to play setting you know the normal settings and the other one is a like a free play more like an easier combat and easier uh money making easier management um, management all around so for the sake of the Gameplay preview. I'm just gonna play the normal one. Oh, let's give it a try. Ah, yes, a Vargas. What a profession! Daring and savvy, always watching the horizon, always looking for an opportunity, and of course, for what is best for his. All right, this guy gonna talk for a while, so. And you are a Vargas too, are you not? Many of your kind have I seen in my long life as a vagabond. Care to listen to a story about your exquisite occupation, good master? It is a tale of woe and terror, but it is also a tale that is true, as I have seen it with my own eyes. All right. So this old man shows us some kind of a campaign selector. Uh, yes, as you can see, the the first option here allow you to choose the campaign called Pilgrim of the Wasteland. I did it, but not not so far since I failed. I believe at some point, <laughs> yes, my caravan all wrecked up, and then the game is very brutal. I can tell. All right, so the second one is a free play. The first one is gonna be, uh, like a very very strict narrative storyline. So uh, you you can't progress unless you did something to the story first. Yes, so. I believe there's going to be a lot more coming, but for now there's they only have one campaign story, so we just want to play the free play version. Yes, skip the game. All right. Fair enough, good master. Fair enough. You don't want to hear tales of trusts betrayed and bad decisions. <laughs> it makes sense to me, with you also being a Vargas on your back. Tell me, have you been long at it, and where do you come from? It is not often that I can talk to one of your kind. All right, in this free play mode, you can create your own vagabond. Yes, a bunch of vagabonds traders. All right, so this part gonna be taking a lot of times, and it's gonna be like time consuming. So we're just gonna crash through it. All right, so I did play a dwarf in the second playthrough, and there's three more races coming through. So. After playing for a while, I can I think I can tell what kind of a race I need, right? All right, so let's pick the Tarkarian. All right, since I I will explain the perks once we get to it. All right, pick the Tarkarian. You will get some bonus reputation, some, and then you can select your background. It will give you the perk that you need. I'll usually pick the where is the. Artisan, yes. Ah, uh, prefer this artisan. Artisan allow you to craft faster and you know see better <laughs> most of the time. I mean, the perk is kind of useful at certain time, but not all the time. Alright, pick that, and then this is where your calling. Yes, most 
this is where your most of your put coming from yeah so that why you wanna focus on eventually yeah explorer focus on mostly foraging collecting stuff find secrets and stuff mercenary usually focus on combat and intimidating people for more discounts and stuff trader yes of course a trader if you like doing so go ahead do it and for this sake i will just play the trader all right now this is your ambition for free plays yes so this is like for like a win condition so we say ps so we say your win condition so i'm just gonna play renown so you win by just becoming famous all around the empire go ahead and play all right here's where the your character details comes in all right so don't mind the first two first don't mind this this first two i will explain later on so let's look inside here the insights yeah the insight is like your experience point the more you do in the game the more points you can get to invest in this little like dots here yes all right so here also i will explain later on because now it's really hard to explain without any proper uh, examples yes so i'm just gonna put on and aspire for now it, it costs a lot yes four but it's very useful <laughs> all right now we focus on trading yes trading all right so i'm just gonna pick up let's see hunting herb law healers let's pick that up and then conniving evaluate persuasion all right i'm just gonna pick that one and then charismatic or oh, i can talk to people i can talk to people better yes uh and the other one is perspective so i can you know see hidden things around the world all right so never mind the rest of the ui i will explain one by one later there's a lot to explain in this game all right let's do it enter my name go ahead and do it all right and then you can see all of your put around here and then you choose your portrait no one can pick this guy all right your acquaintance good master i'm sure that many great adventures await you on your journey it was an honor talking to you good master but these old bones are aching and i must rest now oh yes perhaps we will talk in the morning perhaps we will may the gods guard your sleep all right so what kind of game it is you tell you might want to ask why this game what kind of game it is so it's a trading simulator game i, I don't know there's a proper a genre for it but that's what be, people been calling it <laughs> yes it's like an economy based game where you trade one resources to the others and then just make it like a trade route of some sort at a certain point all right all right here we are on the map okay so apparently i was spawned in a very different uh spawn place from my previous playthrough all right as you can see here the game has a lot of text a lot of text you can read all right so i might skip all of these texts and i just give you the like a simplified story of it usually usually the the, the important one probably the the last two paragraph or the last two sentence that you want to read so here you can see let's like mm, what happened here let's see so let me show you human good accessibility find the old teller all right so i'm talking to the old man the old man just just talk just now thank you for coming see listen to his advice let's see city is a green Torzak. Hmm, i spawned a different city before now it's Torzak. i'm not sure where it is probably some kind of an orc settlement or something orcs never mess you all right i need to meet a guy called braxius 
Alright, the Betsy shop, the Carish market. Alright, I'm going to be proper mad with Delhi to get lost. Shop day is waiting, visit going at way station. Alright. Okay. The UI can be a, a little bit overwhelmed as a first view. <laughs> yes. So I'm just going to explain you one by one, a little bit by bit, on what the UI is really, <laughs> what the UI is really all about. All right. So let's start with the map. Okay. Here you can see your maps. If you click over up or up here, you can toggle up the map. Yeah. The game is really quite unoptimized. So when you're first loading your map, it's going to take a while. All right. Here is the whole map, yes. Uh, the map is quite big. Yeah, even for early access. I think it's already launched. Yeah, but it's still quite, quite big. Yes. So anything you discovered, found or explored already will be shown on the map. Yes. And all big cities are already marked on your maps. So you can go there. Let's say, let's say you want to go to the... Our objective is to go to Taurus Zed, right? So you can just mark the me and then it probably show you the best way to go there depends on your uh, tracking and exploring skill yeah that's very important all right that's your map and then there's the codex codex is like your how do i say it? your own wikipedia about the game yeah it tells you anything that you already discovered yeah, I think this is all pre from previous my previous playthrough. Yeah, not much, but it's still something. Yeah. So when you discover something, or you learn a secret, or or a new town, or a settlement, a hideout, it popped up here. Yes, as you can see, there's a lot of texts here. You can read here if you want. All right, and then over. Let's see. I think I guess over here. Over here you can have your journals this way your quest so the quest split into three all right the objective rumors and task so rumors you can do it anytime it doesn't matter much objective is usually your main quest your you know the important one where you have to go trade or settle your debts something like that task is usually have a time limit things yeah something like a like a, a contract or what do you call it uh you taxi a person from one place to another yeah that's what most of it all the time yes all right let me go get, catch my breath Whew. okay now let's see how the game works all right let's see how the game works your most important UI is already up here, right? This is your like your status, your caravan status. Yes, all right. So you're gonna be clicking here. Yes, it's always gonna take a while on your first loading, and then it'll be just fine. It's, it's gonna take a while for me to load this thing. All right, let's see. Don't get overwhelmed by the UI. It's all most of it are probably self-explained. All right, so for now, let's just see just up here. All right, all this thing up here, it's up here. Here is your movement, how much steps you can take on the map to move. And here is for marching. Marching is like where you out of movement and then you want to move more within the days. If you're out of movement point then you have to rest for the day for it to replenish yes and then here is indicator on how long your food gonna last otherwise people gonna start rebelling that's a normal thing on this kind of game and then this is your maximum storage hole which is here and then this is the offensive power of your crew combat you know when you find when you find another like a big crew a combat like another caravan or another raid or something then this is the indicator how powerful your unit is yes all right and this is a defensive power of course and this is your money yeah this is like your cash all right 
silver is the highest copper and i'm not sure what is it i believe is bronze yeah silver copper bronze <laughs> yeah i believe usually gold is the highest but this one as you can explain here the highest one is bronze yes all right here is your status most of it uh, these are pretty self explained not much need to be explained much all right so Ooh, all right i just took a little break i'm sorry but i'm really tired right now but you know what it's fine let's go ahead now as you can see here there's your crew details yes they are paycheck they are attack powers on how they contribute to your caravan yes and how how much food they eat and how much workforce they generate and the uh, how much work post that they don't generate yes all right and here you have your cargoes yes cargoes is where you do all the trading that you need yes it's quite flat as plain really so you can purchase upgrade for your caravan all right and there's a supply here that indicate as a food and then here i have a luxury wine i'm probably going to sell this on the next stop it's been given and here you can upgrade you see active effects seven beast cargo put here already been equipped a good quality tool increase my force worker don't worry this thing i will explain more along when we get into the game yes and item is the thing that doesn't take your cargo but it's like knowledge to you yes it's like a, a small little knowledge or small little item that you can use on your travels and here if you have one it will show companions you will get along the way there's a lot of thing i have to explain companion alone but thank god the game doesn't give me one at the start all right deputies is probably like a how do you call it a managers in a modern way yeah and the higher your leadership is the more deputies you can have all right now let's play then all right so my objective is to get here, Kernet Way Station. All right. As you can see, this little dotted here, you can plan around where you can move. Yeah, it's quite nice, really nice. Okay, so as you can see, to move here to here, it needs three steps: the MP cost, the movement point cost, which is up here. All right. So if I press here, it consumes three of my points, and now I have five left. Yes all right that's the that's the simplest way how this game works all right now let's move here i think i should go here and now the enter town popped up let's go ahead arrive at the gates so usually when you are nobody the guard will ask you to pay something or like bully you <laughs> Yeah, most of the time. All right. All right. So you comply most of the time. If you are nobody, you have no reputation whatsoever. Just comply to the guards. Otherwise, straight to the jail. See, nothing happened. Nice. All right. So here you can choose what you want to do. All right. So since this is just an encampment so there's not much thing to explore here so if you found like a bigger cities uh, a village even you can explore a lot of a lot a lot a lot more option will pop up here yes all right let's go at the compound talk to the agent of the faction oh my god nice all right sometimes this kind of opportunity appear because you know your story is in alignment yes because the old man asked you to be here so you have to be here so we so i have a choice here
so I have a choice to make an agent with the trading house which is hauling a cargo uh, and I can make a deal with the smugglers to smuggle illegal item to the great to the same cities and then a pilgrim to a shrine north south of here traders from the dragon land looking for a new market I'm probably gonna uh, just be a nice person and make a deal with the trading house let's go ahead and do that all right one empty cargo all right I will do it so a lot of opportunity will appear but this is like the most common one you will see yes so let's chat with the travelers let's see if they have any rumors any available work mm, nothing for the legion not much all right so so along the way along the way when you exploring you will find this little like a blue highlighted text oh uh, yes if you click on it it open up your codec so that means you are discovered something new along your journey yes all right you discovered something new along your journey and if you do so the game will award you with insight point yes insight point allow you to uh let's see can i click it from here no not this one not yet all right do something else if the compound and then up here you can see there's a trade icon all right there's a trade where you can resupply yourself or buy trades item yes yeah, so let's see is there anything that i can buy cheap here oh no not yet let's see the price here surprisingly the price here quite cheap i might buy the supplies here it's like one bronze wow that's quite cheap so if you click mean you buy one all right but if you shift click you buy a stack of it yes all right uh let's see let's this sell well so the wine doesn't sell well the bone let's see what kind of things that we can buy to trade latest mushroom beers and mushroom let's just buy, buy the mushroom yes let's buy all the mushrooms probably need it later on all right equipment where you buy uh upgrades for your caravan as you can see here awnings and this is Tarkian awnings it's like a better version of the normal awnings the guard animal i don't think i can unlock the guard animal yet yes skewers harness defense is it cheap <laughs> no it's not cheap all right all right now we're done with that and then there's a third tab here all right this third tab is where you do it's like a tavern it's like a tavern or inn if you call so this is where you rest hire new crew and firing a crew <laughs> essentially yes all right so we're just gonna do nothing about this this one but i'm gonna focus your eyes around these areas <laughs> yes all right this area so this is where you get the rumors the rumors so by spending this amount of money and you found some kind of a rumors later will appear on your journal over here yes don't worry about it so a passenger usually usually a traveler that on a transit they sometimes have a time limit that you have to and this is the reward which is not bad i mean he only eat two maximum of days might take him then all right 
all right so let's see i guess we are done with this town all right now let's leave all right every time you leave all the summary of the story happening here yes anything you do like the gut if you do not if you do not like if you sneak up to enter the city or something then everything will be summarized here whatever you did in the city all right load the cargo let's do that and we take it wait take it Oh, so we don't have a maximum. Oh, damn. You know what? Never mind. I'm sorry, Shroom. But you have to go. Alright. So, now I have a... Uh, the traders as well come with me. Alright, now let's leave. Alright, now as you can see... the There's a passenger tag over here. That, next to the crew on my caravans. Alright. So, some traders increase your crew combat. As you can see here, it provides me a crew combat. And, but they consume a lot more food than normal. And they doesn't, and they doesn't generate any workforce on your caravan. So, that's about it. So now, if we manage our uh, quest here, we can see what we need to do you know, deliver the travelers and what kind of reward that we get you see sometimes you get a tips of 23% I think this is depends on your uh, reputation yes I believe and here we got more reputation by doing so you can just abandon the quest anytime you want but I don't wanna do that if you confused to know where the town is just click here and it will show you most of the time so here and then let's mark mark this place and yeah let's move to the place you can't move the camera as you can see so you can only move this camera zoom in and zoom out yeah go ahead all right and what's next what's next ah yes let me show you another features of the traveling system all right you see this eye icon here the eye yes the eye you click the eye and then you send a scout before you start traveling <laughs> yes so if you let's say out of food or scared there might be a bandit along the way so this is what you do all right so let's say i want to go to one and two so i'm only have two scout maximums you can hire more if you want so if i put two scouts the, okay if i put one scout here i mean this is the chances of the scout finding something uh critically success success fail and critical fail yes critical fail means my scout probably dies yes and fail probably nothing has been explored all right so if you put two more scouts the chances are increasing that's how it is yes let's say if you put three or four more then the chances are more increased so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one over here and one over here so I have, I can tell which route is the best to avoid whatever that I don't want to see. Alright, you sense scout. And all of this costs movement point. Yeah, I think this depends on your exploration skill as well. Alright, sense scout. And now this is the result. This is the result. Probably nothing happened early in this game but I'm just going to show you guys. What happened? Yeah, the chances of event occurring, chances of combat. Ah, this one is not yet available. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably some new features in the future. I'm not sure. The chance of nothing happening, 100%. Yes. And this is the foraging chances of you getting extra resources along. Now we move on. Alright, I guess it's safe to travel here. Alright. 
as you can see now that we can't travel anymore because we are out of move speed i really doesn't want you to use the marching as it will destroy your uh crew confidence yes you don't want that you really don't only use the marching for to run from a uh chasing enemy or just to run from a combat yeah so for now if now that you can't move you have to replenish your movement point and you can do so by resting this little camp button over here yes now let's do that all right here here is your resting ui you're gonna be seeing this a lot on your journey yes all right so here is what been happening in your crew on that day all right so here is your total upkeep for the day you can choose to pay them later later or you pay them now as you can see it has no effects for now and you can pay them twice to boost the morales yeah as you can see morale over here and you can just lock the setting if you want it won't change every day and there's a obedient slave if you want to increase your slave obedient in the night let's see then the ration ration you can set up how many percentage that they eat every day as you can see here they eat 69 <laughs> every day so you can set it up to 34 but it will reduce their uh morale and obedience yeah so i'm just going to set it up to 100 it's fine and over here you have a defense order yes a defense order this is how well your your caravan is being guarded at night yes all right so the best option is always probably the middle one yeah if you have enough guards to protect your caravan might as well take this no bonus but if you pick the no guards it will reduce your obedience and morale and if you pick uh the post guard probably you need more guards it's like double the crew of your guards and then it increase whatever bonuses they give usually plus two vigors and one obedience most of the time but for now this is the best for our option all right now in here hunting and foraging so what it does it sends your crew to forage for the night for the day for the day sorry so you send your crews to hunt and then we can send them our slave and workers to hunt and scout as well as you can see here is failing it has very 100 percent chance to fail because we are in a town so there's not much we can do over here i will show you guys later on how this works but for now there's not much we can do so we end the days we pay them here it gives me a warning that you already know this and now we're traveling the number here shows the movement point that you need to travel so don't worry about it and the little dot here shows that already explored places that we've been all right so we just want to say let's, let's see all right it's quite nine over there so we travel here all right so now we can't move do some saving and yes so the more that you don't pay the lower the morale is as you can see so let's change that for now no not lock that one and then send our scout to forage some food as you can see our skill are really bad let's see if i can improve that improve my skill of foraging all right i got four now because <laughs> i was doing some exploring so let's see foraging let's pick that survivals and beast lore i think it's fine Herb lore. yeah focusing on food first the rest of the talent can be mostly self sustain all right let's do that
or the chances might increase maybe tomorrow or something yeah let's do that and the days and here is the result it's the result usually a fail doesn't harm your workers but a critical fail usually your workers die or heavily injured yes all right okay now i think we're just gonna follow the main road just to be safe you can stray you can stray and explore a little bit but for this exploration let's just do that and then let's do the same thing hopefully it's gonna lock the setting don't pay them i'm just gonna pay it and don't pay it and pay it and don't pay it yeah and since we have less resources no i'm not I, I can't take that kind of oh people they both failed that was bad <laughs> real bad all right now let's walk usually when you use the main road there's less event happening around yeah we might we might go stray a little bit later all right pay now let's pay them all right so we're on the main road i believe that's why we get less food and if you don't send them to foraging then they can increase their stamina so they can be more energetic tomorrow all right let's stray a little bit let's go over here nothing happening all right happening is there anything better hmm, that's actually way better all right let's pay them for today should i give them more food no they, they become less moral oh that's a lot a critical success hmm. gives you 99 food nice all right let's, let's explore here there's probably something here at really early of this game you really want to have uh, that randomized event all right i guess this is oh no this is not bad this is not good let's see pay them letters let's make uh, let's make an example of our slave i hate to do it but you have to do it otherwise no one follows you see it's already devoted you can't do this all the time otherwise you're there's, there will be a chances of rebellion among your slave yeah don't do it all the time do it probably like uh once every three days somewhere there yeah oh another critical success that was nice all right since there's, there's probably gonna something happen here right oh, nothing happened why is that why is nothing happening Let's go explore. We get a little bit excited over there. Right, let's go. Oh, this is a nice place to explore. Probably gonna fail. Yes, probably gonna fail. And probably explore here. Wait for the target shelters over here. And let's see this is a good place to explore oh this is a good place as you can see 70 percent is it good for our scout as you can see the more scout you have the higher the chances of this become success uh, let's see is our morale good enough to be destroyed no i'm gonna take that chances you know what let them rest and the days over here oh wonder if something will happen go to a shop hmm use a randomize random event okay, let's go oh that was a bad chances oh no all right let's end the day let's pay let's pay them have less supplies now. I 
Maybe I can take one day off. Does it affect the Vega? No. Alright. So let's take a little bit of to see if there are any randomized events. Nothing. Alright. It's gonna march. Nice. A city of orcs. Zorgash. They seem happy. Yes. Everything is intact. The girl boy is in order. Nice. So I get 26. Which is not a lot, but still something. The dark city awaits. Alright, let's enter. And. We have to enter. Approach the guards. You have nothing to hide. Yes. If you have a high sneak skill, you can smuggle more stuff. More bigger stuff. Yes. As you can see, there's like a pen and paper D&D style. Uh, step, step check in this game as well. So, I don't have nothing to hide. So, there's not much thing to do. Even if I did do have thing to hide, my chances are very low. I'm probably going to get caught. And be put to jail. And if no one saves me, probably the game over just like that. Thing to hide. Let's see. What does it pay? Yes, if you if you want to pay when you are exiting, it's gonna cost you more. Yeah. So how much does it cost? Cost me three. Alright, not that much. Let's enter. Alright, so we get more and then fifty percent tip. I I don't think this is based on reputation and this is based on how fast you travel there. Alright. So we already at forty minutes of this demo. And I have been talking for forty minutes. I'm sorry. I try to be composed as possible without taking a break. So there's a lot more mechanics into the game that I really really want to explain to you guys but I don't think we have enough time or the video for it yeah me and Dan probably gonna play this game live yeah probably and explain to you guys more check us out if you want if you want and I think this is a good place to end the uh video preview yes thank you all right and guys thank you for watching till the end i really 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 appreciate it that you guys watching me doing this and introduce you guys to uh, games that i like my interest so you know i like i like the kind of game that really wanted to how do you call it evolve the gaming industry instead of following the meta and following whatever the same thing out there yeah so i kind of like this kind of game you know they try to evolve they try to be different yeah and if you like the game i believe the game is now on steam for around 30 bucks 20 bucks usd oh yes so again thank you guys for watching till the end i really appreciate you guys and if you like the content and you want to see more and see me and support me by just subscribing and liking and tell me what kind of a game you like in the comment section thank you guys good night